Hey guys, Chung here. I'm right now using the VD mic from Godox. I have it uh, directly on my Panasonic GH5. Uh, above me is actually a highway and we're actually close to a park with a uh, water fountain. So I'm actually, from myself, I can hear the traffic going by and also the water fountain. We're going to do a vlog. I do have gonna wear my mask uh, throughout most of it. Uh, we're going throughout um, yeah, different locations so you can hear the different audio quality that this mic can actually get and actually hear how it sounds in different locations. Now at the platform of the MTR station and yeah the big elephant in the room of course is that this microphone looks quite a lot like the uh, Quote Fido Micro and uh, yeah, quite a lot of microphones now. They uh, look quite a lot like this, being small and uh, lightweight to use. And uh, honestly, I can hear myself uh, having the uh, yeah headphone in, but I do also hear quite a lot of noise. If I stay quiet, I can see still like the yeah noise floor being quite high but it is not overly extreme right now at uh, inside the platform here but right now there's not a lot of noise going on so i have to hear how the sound actually is inside of the mtr because it will be much louder down uh, inside of the uh, mtr train itself inside of the cart and you can hear the cart itself but noise floor seems to be okay but I think it's this part isn't that extreme noisy though so yeah we're now going to Shamshir Po we're gonna pick up something and also because that uh, yeah it's a more busy location so we can actually uh, like do a vlog there on the street and hear how the sound fares with a lot of people around There's actually two ways I could have gone to Shamshui Po from Chumwan. I could have gone to Namchong and walk from there. But uh, yeah, today I'm feeling a bit lazy. So I'm taking the MTR from Meifu and uh, yeah, just going to the other line and uh, go straight to the Shamshui Po station. Also one thing, I've recently upgraded the firmware of my Panasonic GH5 and honestly I'm really loving how stable it is because I'm not using it in combination with the gimbal I'm just really holding it handheld So we are heading to Shemchev Ho I'm actually speaking from behind the mic and here Let's see how it sounds from behind the mic. So we're heading out of the exit D2. Uh, this is in the direction of the Golden Arcade uh, Mall or Arcade Center. And uh, we're going actually to a street behind there uh, where we can actually find a police shop. <laughs> We're now heading down Fukuring Street uh, yeah, towards the Circle K that direction. So what I just bought was a LPE6 uh, DC coupler for the Blackmagic Pocket 6K or 4K. Uh, the reason for that I have like a job for where I need to use that camera and uh, yeah powering it uh, with a DC coupler was I think the best way to ensure that I can 
use it for a long period uh, instead of uh, having to have tons of LP6 batteries because I don't have that. What I do have is a lot of M uh, like MPF batteries uh, with a DC out so I can actually power it with that but also I have a tilter plate where I can use that with. If I'm quiet, we can hear it. Yeah, I can hear that interference noise being picked up so the cables are not shielded enough and it's uh, picking up a lot of like signal noises. Okay. That's a good marketing to attract a lot of people having a kid saying the announcement instead of having like a old butcher saying those announcements. Audio test with traffic testing by. That was really close. So yeah, you can hear how it actually picks up the audio. Does it picks up me well? Uh, picks up a lot of traffic or is it still okay? So we're now at a kind of busy street corner with a highway here. So we're gonna do a test of uh, just with the mic. Right now we're recording with the VD mic and I'm gonna uh, remove the mic and record one of the onboard mic of the Panasonic J5 and so you can hear if there's a major difference. And now we're using the J5 onboard mic. You can hear there's quite a lot of more ambient noise around. However, yeah, uh, it's still better, of course, to use a microphone than using onboard mic. I'm now using the mic without any uh, like filter on it, and I can clearly hear like the wind blowing on it. Now the wind has died down a little bit, but uh, yeah, you can hear the wind a little bit. It's not like a extreme breeze, but there's like actual wind. Now using with the foam windshield, so the wind noise is still a little bit there, but not as extreme as just without it. Honestly, just use this mic or any of these kind of mics with a dead cat because honestly any kind of wind with a foam it doesn't really protect or uh, cancel any of the wind noise. So if I uh, stay quiet you can hear that's also quiet, just hear only ambient noise. So you don't hear any wind noise at all with this uh, dead cat now on the microphone. So having tested the audio and also listened to the audio the whole day, I have to say it's not really a bad mic. It's able to capture my voice really well and very clear, but also it picks up quite a lot of environment noise, not to the too extreme side compared to like the onboard mic of the camera. However, um, yeah, it is quite loud compared to a few other microphones, especially ones that are more directional. But the other thing is basically the electronic uh, yeah, interference from electronic devices nearby uh, because the cables is not shielded enough causing that kind of like uh, yeah, electric interference noise is quite annoying to have with this mic. So really need to uh, constantly notice or like really listen to the sound while you're recording so you can avoid those kind of noises because I don't think like you would either uh, yeah, be able to fix that in post or actually really notice that. So yeah, that was pretty much it. If you have any questions, please comment it below while you're there. Also hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye bye.